applications are often required to do calculations involving the values of specific attributes, constants and or functions. For all these cases, GeneXus offers formulas. There are different ways to define formulas. Let's start by learning what a global formula is. A global formula is a calculation you define associated with an attribute. Note that the transaction structures contain a column labeled formula. When a calculation is defined in this column for an attribute, it means that that attribute is virtual. In other words, it won't be created physically as a field in a table because the value of the attribute will be obtained every time it's needed by doing the calculation. Let's see this with an example. Suppose the pharmacy needs to know at all times how many registered products there are of each product type. To this end, we define a new attribute in the product type transaction with the purpose of defining it as a global formula. The attribute will be product type product quantity. It will be a numeric of 9. And now we'll define the calculation associated with this attribute. We'll do it in the formula section. GeneXus offers many formulas such as sum, average, count, but in this case, to perform the counting needed by the pharmacy, we'll use count. We're going to type count and the attribute product name in parentheses. The attribute reference in the parentheses of the formula gives GeneXus information of the table to be navigated to do the calculation. In the definition we've just made, product name is in parentheses, therefore GeneXus knows that it has to count in the product table. Then, if GeneXus finds that relationship between the table it will navigate, product, and the context where the formula attribute is defined, product type, it will only, only consider the related records for the calculation. In this example, product type code is present in both contexts in the formula definition and in the table to be navigated to do the calculation. So, only products of each product type are counted and not all products recorded in the navigated table. If no relationship is found, GeneXus will do the calculation considering all records in the navigated table. We press S5 and see that no physical changes will be made to the database. GeneXus will only generate some programs and the developer menu will be executed again. Let's execute product type transaction. If we place the code of product type 1, we see that it automatically shows the number of products in that category. Let's enter code 2 and it shows us two products from the medicines category. If you wish, you can add more products in order to verify for each type of product that the number of products of that type is always calculated on the fly. We've just seen how to control the behavior of our application. In the next video, we'll see how to use patterns to give our application even more potential.